Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here. Got another Eagle Moss Official Starship Collection model review. Now this is a special model that they brought out. This is a future Enterprise. We've never seen this in any canon Star Trek episode, film, series, whatever. But this is the... We'll get out the plastic. There we go. Yeah, cut the top of the Star with so it slid straight out. It's the USS Enterprise 1701F. Now, our Star Trek timeline ends with Star Trek Nemesis. Actually, it doesn't. It kind of it bends off a little bit to Spock's Jellyfish, which is set in the future. Is it 20 years after the end of... I think it's 20 years after the end of um, Star Trek Nemesis, which this might have been in operation as a Federation starship. But... If you play Star Trek Online, which I have in the past a little bit played Star Trek Online, then it will have been, you'll be able to see one of these, is it the Odyssey class? Yeah. Just over a kilometre long. But this is all only ever seen in the online game, which is, it looks a really great ship. And this is the latest special what Eagle Moss have brought out. So, there we have it. The stand goes into the back there, over both of the back pylons there. It's kind of a little different, because I can see these sections here, but I think we'll get a better view later on for this. Now, Eagle Moss have said that with... Oh, this will probably get posted today, I think, anyway. On the 21st, they're releasing this in the Star Trek Online... Um, livery which is kind of this one to be honest because this looks more black and white whereas this is more of a standard federation gray sort of look to it the panel in the aztec in sort of thing but we'll get to the model in a second right launched in 2409 like i say our timeline finishes with i think i'm sure it's when spock's jellyfish ship goes back there's a four section four part comic which showed you all that it was to do with the with data being in charge of the enterprise e and spock's jellyfish ship was full of carrying the red matter to help a supernova which was which was threatening romulus and he uh, went there too late which then sent him back in time as well as nero yada 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 the kelvin timeline but that is the latest part whatever we saw anything in with star trek so far apart from the the Voyager episodes where you've got the future bits which kind of do and don't but do with the um, temporal temporal war and with the oh Captain Braxton with the um, Federation starship act I don't know what the ship was maybe they'll have that on oh they've had that already haven't they the time ship right this is in the different livery because you've got this black section around here, black down here. Don't know why they'd have this in. The, you thought they'd had two models. Maybe the second model they're bringing out in a couple of days is going to just not have a magazine. It'll just be straight model only. You never know. It's a really, it's a very interesting looking ship. It looks very much. It's rounded off an Enterprise E. The um, the sovereign class where you've got more of a it harks back a little bit to the um, the D days bridge on top lovely rounded sleek back nacelles instead of more of a triangular effect on what the Enterprise E was. But I'm hoping to show the knees section. I mean, look at these here; these are absolutely crazy. I mean that's it's. To put a fauna cell configuration on a on a on a federation <coughs> flagship, excuse me, I'm choking there. A flagship would be insane, but it, it's kind of what these are going towards, having four fauna cells. But it's absolutely crazy that this dome, this underneath section, would just bulge down underneath for absolutely no reason. But 
I mean anything, I love the concept of art of these. Magellic class or Magellantic class, right, for the Magellantic clouds that are out there. What is a class development project? San Francisco, Fleet Yard Earth. Right, a little bit of cut out there because we have on the next page there was something here. Now this shows a, um, a Star Trek Online where I can redeem a code to get the um, the uh, Odyssey class. Now I'm covering that over because that's got my um, unique code number. So if I show this off then you'll all be able to get one. Or if not you'll be able to see yes. But this uh, this has come free with this so you can have the standard ship as a model you can get it on online. So I'm going to be going on online in a moment anyway to get this code which is behind here. Um, yeah. Validated. So what I kind of like about this ship is you've got a very strange secondary hull. You've got a comparison here to the older ships. You have the Constitution class ship there, the Refit Enterprise. I think, actually, what is that ship? That, that is, oh, the Enterprise D, the E. And this extra section here, it's a massive deflector dish on this. I don't know if the model is actually showing that it's, it's that big. But you've got this strange section. Whether the pylons come down holding the warp nacelles on, it looks like it comes down to the main body like they all seem to. But you've also got, instead of the neck being attached directly one section to the bodywork of the secondary hull, you've got these two extra bits, two side bits instead. So it kind of increases the, um, the hull mass but not fully increasing the size of the ship gives you more decks either side of there either so the, the side necks instead of the um, standard neck from the saucer and that's a different type again it looks kind of i don't know it kind of looks a bit that shuttle bit looks absolutely weird it does look a little bit like that on the model, but I don't think that's... I think they are also concepts as well, but it's like triangular parts on here for the nacelles instead of a bit more of a rounded section off. But I did just lot work on here. And it's showing the different evolution of doing the shuttle bays on this. Standard shuttle bay support craft, what, attached to the back of it, that'd be interesting. Voyager type. An impulse engine section of was on the back end that could do instead. Catamaran. Different. I mean, this is obviously all the future of Star Trek, which we've never seen. We might see stuff like this in the Picard series. We just don't know what's going to happen yet. But that, is that a catamaran then? An embedded sh shuttlecraft called Aquarius. Okay, so that entire area on the back of there is actually a shuttlecraft. That's, re that's really, really interesting. A, a bigger, well, a smaller support craft. So from the captain's yacht, which would be underneath here, or with the aero wing was underneath here on Voyager. The full back end is a is a full separate entity itself. I mean, that's got to be quite big. A shuttle anyway. I like the idea of that. I really, really do. But to get it away from the bridge section is quite a way. I mean, the other thing on these is history of the next generation sort of era. Is a saucer would detach, the secondary hull would be separate, but I don't see any lines to detach. Unless this whole section no, these two side bits come off. No, I don't know. Maybe it just does not detach. Hmm. A tale of two timelines. Star Trek Online. Now they, they do go. I have not played Star Trek Online properly. Played a little bit. Got my ship, and that's it. I've never really got into the storyline. I'd love to get into the storyline properly. I just can't find the time to do it, and it's it's my own fault. It's been on since quite a while. Maybe eight years now they've been doing it. Seven years or something. Game launched in 20, 2010. So it is now nine years old, the game. 
which is pretty good for a for a free online game. I'm showing the um yeah, because they actually have episodes, an episode near kind of mid midnight, the Enterprise F goes under a significant refit. So that's probably going from the Federation model that's over there to the black section version or opposite way around. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Looks like they've actually incorporated the um, Discovery era into the online section as well. Yeah. Here we have it. PS4. PlayStation, Xbox One. I have one of those. I have a PC. Yeah, there's the um, rear view. Looking very much like the refit Constitution class. It's flying off into the distance. Very, very good, that. But yeah, big advert for the, um, for the game online. Top section there. Now let's get on. Because I've been going on for quite a while, actually, to be honest. Let's get on with the model. Let's see what this little beauty is. Like I said, this is one of the specials. The other one is coming out in a couple of days. But shame the size. It could have been a lot bigger. I dropped them again. Number if you're interested 0955 A slash A. So, first run, hopefully. Use this Enterprise F. Why is it 2018? It's come out this year. Uh, yeah. Hmm. You know. So. Let's start off with size-wise. It's a little bit small. If you look at this, you've actually got this section here which looks a bit... I don't know. Kind of looks like that would detach, but I think it also probably looks like it's not very well designed. But this should be from a... I don't know. What, what do you think, then, this section here, with the next sections either side going up, would detach and you'd have a primary along this line here and these two bits and then a secondary would have these two bits hmm so you could possibly have it separating but you've got top sections grey and you have these white sections here I don't know, you know, a bit odd so let's give it a fly pass shall we let's see if the camera will zoom in Enterprise 1701F very red very, very red. And the two Federation symbols there. Or are they? Here they are. Either side. So it's possibly a Federation flagship em emblem finally put on one of these. I don't know. A very small impulse engines for the size of the ship there. And a main shuttle bay right at the back of the saucer. And this potential other ship on the back end. Really getting thinner now with the the nacelles. Really peaking off to absolutely nothing. Which is great. getting very much towards the Enterprise J sort of era. Which was absolutely no bodywork whatsoever. See so on the under, underneath side of here. There she goes. There's, they could have, the size of this is meant to be a lot bigger than the, the Enterprise E. So you'd expect it to be a lot bigger and a lot more detail, but there isn't. I'd love it if that shuttlecraft on the back just popped out. You've got some nice little 1701F there. Is that the Enterprise under there? I cannot make that out. I'm trying to try and see if I can zoom in. I can pull this away and then zoom in. It does actually get closer. Oh, there you go. That's a, ah, no, no. Come on, zoom in. Oh no, I've lost that completely. Come on, you know you want it. There you go. Right, let's keep this in. I think it's just a phaser bank. No, it's just going to a piece of mean solder that's stuck on me on my cutting mat. I think it is just a um a phaser bank on the side there. No extra detail, a little bit of round parts underneath there, look like the Enterprise D. Let's get the side view on this. That's really a lovely little ship. It's like almost this section is it's stepped for the for the um saucer. So it's almost very, very flat. Little bit sections there sticking out. And then a lovely curve there. Curve goes up and then curves down to the back end. 
and then the cells could actually work both ways. I think we've had a wasn't there a shuttlecraft with that sort of nacelle? They've made it kind of that way around. I quite like this. Let's try that again. You can zoom in a bit better on this. There we go. Get some better detail on there now. There you go. Window alignment. Let's have a look. Is that an eagle moss? Probably. Apologies for a little bit of shaking on here. I am holding it and it is zoomed in a little bit. But I don't think that's too bad. That's a tiny bridge. Very tiny bridge. Sections there. You know what? I think it would be a lot more interesting if they did change the NCC to something different. This just shows that there's something new developed along the future, but in the 25th century, it's more Book Rogers era than Star Trek era. Well, there's your sort of shuttle pod, shuttle bay, shuttle craft. Looks like the blue dot at the at the bottom of the screen there it might actually be a bridge section. It's about the same size as the bridge. Right, I want to show you <coughs> rear view. Excuse me. Now there's a gap all the way through this. If you can see my hand through this. Actually, is that attached? I wonder if that's attached on the underneath. It is. If you look carefully inside, see there, right in the middle, right there. It's attached in the, in the centre, so maybe that's a quick turbo shaft to get down, but you've got these two extra bits, two kind of neck sections either side, which comes down. Maybe gives it better access from port and starboard sides of the ship to get down to the engineering section but then they've also got unless it is a, a flashing right at the back there right at the back in, uh, between the neck sections inside here there's definitely something there can't get it in focus right at all on there if I can get a, hold on I have an idea torch right I mean come on focus in focus boy focus Yeah, that's not getting it right either. There's definitely something there. Right about. There she is. So yeah. Maybe there's three necks. So you're looking like there's two, and there's actually might be three. Oh. Really like this model. It's a really good looking model. It's a shame it's small, but But this is definitely something we wouldn't have seen anywhere at all, apart from when you play the game. And the next one that comes out is, like I said, the black and white version. There's a black strip down there, most of it's white. I don't know whether it's any sort of specific part in the game. Let's get on to replaying the game again. Metal top, I think. Probably, I think this top section, this, this saucer, is. You know, it feels cold in here. That's all metal, and that's why this is different colour down here. This is all plastic afterwards. So yeah, really nice, interesting-looking model there. Let's see how she looks in a stand, because this is supposed to go there, and I hate doing these because they always fall off for me. That's really tight. Look at that. Really, really tight in there. So you'd think it might actually scratch the model a little bit. So, um, a little bit blue in that light, I think. Better grey there now. Blue! Grey. No, I wouldn't like to put that in and out of the, um, the holder as much. It's really, really thin in there. Lovely looking shape. And what's that part? Uh, freaky. No, yeah, I'm focused. I'm looking at the side of the the name there. No. 
It's just like a little wiggly wobbly line sort of thing. But it's definitely shuttle bay. But another one. You can find any more apart from the shuttle part at the back. Ship this size, maybe that's a massively stupidly sized shuttle bay. Kind of a covered over deflector at the front, but you've got your main deflector underneath anyway. Are there any more doors on here? We haven't, have we? So there's only the only the one shuttle bay there. Okay. These other phaser banks might be painted a different colour, but they're not. They're just lined either side with the red. And everything just painted on top. But yeah. Quite like that. As a special, quite like. Even better as a actually that's a bonus. As a proper special large version, that would have been a lot better to do. But uh, they probably didn't really like they think there'd be a, a, a market for it. But there you go. Let's get you a bit more tighter in. Let's see it a bit better. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you like that. Please think, consider like and, like and subscribe for, for my channel. I've got lots of other stuff on there, a lot of tech related, a lot of track related. So I'll thanks for watching and I'll um, see you in the next video. Bye for now.